guys happy wednesday wednesdays are the best day of the week do you know why because mail day uh no because it's my riding day <laughs> great i really want you to fall off you really want me to what fall off why do i know i cry when you fall off but you want me to fall off why because you, you want me to eat, fall off you yet. want me to eat dirt you didn't fall off for a lot of years yeah because yeah, I made sure of that. Yeah, well this girl is trying to make sure that I don't fall off that too. Uh, these bones are old. They'd break if I fell off. Yeah. That's not nice. It's not nice to want me to fall. Anyway, guys, she's just sitting here staring at the table. She's supposed to be eating breakfast, but what's she staring at the table for? I want to open that. Sam went to get packages yesterday and we got this in the mail. It's so shocking to me. Honestly, you guys do not need to send us packages. A letter is awesome. And if your parents are saying no, then trust your parents. They're just trying to keep you safe. And it's okay if you can't send us a letter. But we just like letters. We don't need packages. I'm overwhelmed and blown away when you guys send us stuff. It is the nicest thing. Every time I tell you guys that Gabby is never sick, something crazy happens. So you all know Sophie was sick, right? So right around the time that she got sick, she got this weird smell in her mouth and it smelled like this weird pussy, bloody kind of smell coming out of her mouth and her mouth had not smelled before. Gabby's mouth never smells. She always takes care of her teeth. They brush their teeth, whatever. So yesterday, Gabby's like, I have this little lump and she did have a little lump. So I thought I'll just watch it. And then last night she was say, talking to me and I actually was looking at her and this happened. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see? Okay, turn around from the front. So they have something to compare. No, it's only like, it's only like just right I don't know if it's here. showing up on the camera, but she has got- It hurts less and less though when you really- Does it? And it was all red last night. Okay, don't put your finger there. See, it comes all the way down like don't this. Don't put your finger there. I know, but I just want them to see. It's like she's got a growth on her neck. Let's see the other side. It kind of looks like a little on that side too. So she got the sore throat she soon after Sophie got it. Then all of a sudden her mouth started to smell bad. And then she got cold sores all over her lip. So then last night, there, I noticed that their gums were beet red, which could be like gum disease, but they brush their teeth all the time and sometimes I go in and just make sure that their teeth are clean. And so I know they can't have gum disease. They brush their teeth two times every single day. Anyway, so I went in last night to brush Sophie's teeth just to make sure that she was getting them really well and literally blood poured out of her mouth. I just went like this across the front and whoosh it just was pouring out both of them i don't know what they have they have some kind of virus that's affecting all that stuff in there it's i mean gabby has a cool sore she's never had a cool sore in her life show them your lips yeah they're all across i don't even know if they're cool sores they're all across her whole lips open up she's got even one starting right there hey. yeah so i don't know what's going on she's sick sophie was sick and I think we're probably gonna take Gabby to the doctor just to check that lump, but I'm pretty sure it's just a virus. All right, so all you have to do is put the salt water in your mouth, swish it around, and then spit it out. But you gotta gargle it around. Come on, you can do it. Come on, I know you can do it. Just swish it in there. You're not gonna swallow it, only swallowing it. It's gonna taste gross. It is gonna taste gross, but you can do it. When can I spit it out? You have to gargle for three seconds. Mama will count to three, okay? I'll count to three. One, two, three. Oh, it's like projectile. Okay, you gotta do it again. What? You have to do the whole cup. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Just all spit. Come Ooh, on. One. Nope, more. Come on. Oh, really? No. Nope. Come on, hurry up. Let's go. 
Yeah. All right, you guys, I can see we're not gonna get any uh, homeschool done until the girls can rip open these packages. Biggie. Bring them out, they're letter. I said, did that come from Amazon? So somebody sent us that from Amazon and it said, hey, my little girl asked if she could get one of your girls a horse toy, so I said yes. Nania spent all her money she earned this week to give this to both of them. Enjoy, Courtney. That is amazing. Can you even imagine? A little girl spent all of her money just to buy you a present. What do you want to say? Thanks, Nania. Let's see. It is beautiful. And we don't even have that one. It is gorgeous. Let's Jasmine see Jasmine and her friends. Aww, Jasmine and, and it looks just like him. I've never even seen that one They're before. All right, Gary's turn. I just can't believe a little girl spent all of her money to buy that for you guys. Pretzels. Woo! You need muscles. It's the... They're blue! Oh! Wow! What do you guys say? Look at you guys. Somebody sent us riding breeches and half chaps. Oh, and a letter. And a letter. Isn't that cool? Look at their little horse on them. The breeches and the half chaps are from JD. And then she says, hope you enjoy them, have fun riding. Thank you so much for sending them to us. I just held them up, I swear they're gonna fit perfect. That is amazing, this is so nice to have. Thank you so much. All right, box number three. Gabby's gonna open it, I know what this is. I'm Me too. Oh, I love it. Hunter Seat Equitation. This book is sent to us by Gail Crane. And she said, I hope it will be your Bible. And I think it is going to be my Bible. We can all read it together. We can read bits of it for homeschool. Dear Laura, Sophie, and Gabby, hope all of you found a passion in riding. Your fellow rider and animal lover, Gail. I have to go. This is the only book you'll ever need. I love it, Gail. Thank you so much for thinking of us and finding us something that's exactly perfect for what we need. I'm gonna start reading this as soon as I get the girls started on their work. This is gonna be my homeschool. Guys, I'm home today and we are going shopping for some toothbrushes. You can have an emoji toothbrush. No thanks. Emoji. <laughs> Hello Kitty. That's tiny, that's tiny. A Libby, whatever that is. There's more Hello Kitty, there's a Batman toothbrush. I know. There's a bear toothbrush. Like yep, it's soft. Yep, they say soft on them. All right, we're done. She just wants more fidget spinners. Yeah, they're both not They're only a dollar. I know. Holy jeez, eh? Buy them all and then sell them for three dollars and make three, two dollars each on them. We should have bought all of them, and then we should have sent some out to people to fans, to, <laughs> to subs. Yeah, cool. Remember when we picked our favorite season, and I picked spring and fall? Well, I take fall back, and that's why all the leaves are going to be falling, and that's a lot of work because we have a ton of trees here. Tons of trees, too many trees, and 22 bags of leaves. Yeah, I ran into that this morning. I literally have been so excited. I have everything planned in my head, how riding lessons are gonna go, some exciting things were gonna happen. We talked about me riding Western, and she was gonna let me have a Western lesson today, and I was probably gonna get to ride Ziggy, and she just texted me, and she said the heat is so hot out there, that she's not letting any of the horses ride in lessons today. And I was like, oh, man. I mean, we have to do uh, what is but best for the horses. Walk, you're just walking a little bit trot. I know, but inside the barn is so hot. She said they're sweating in the feet, in the paddocks. I know. So there's no riding lesson for me today. I'm sure that she will reschedule it, but it's super annoying. Like, 
Oh, man. I called the doctor <coughs> to make an appointment to try and sneak Gabby in today. And of course, they're closed. They're closed until Friday. So today's Wednesday. So uh, I look how big her face looks today. It looks so much worse. Let's see. No, it's actually better. How do you know it's better? Because. Like there's an actual palpable. Doesn't palpable hurt when you do that. Lump in there. I don't know, I think it looks worse. So, te technically, uh, we either have to wait till Friday or I could take her to Emerge. We could do it that way, but I don't think it's urgent. Do you think it's urgent, Sam? No, it's not. not urgent for me to sit there for 10 hours. No. Uh, it's not urgent enough for us to go and sit there for 10 hours because you can't even use your phone in there. You can't use Wi-Fi, so, I mean, it's really bad. It's boring in there, so I guess we could give her antibiotics that she already had. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing just because who knows, it could be an infection in there. If I start her on her antibiotics and see if it makes a difference, then we'll know we're headed in the right direction. All right, so I'm just standing in the kitchen reading this book that we got in the mail today from Gail Crane, and this is why I love it. Because basically, I'm doing all these things in my lesson, but I don't know why I'm doing them, and I don't know the logic behind it. I don't know anything about it, except for that this is what I'm supposed to do. So not knowing any of the reasons why I'm doing it really hinders me. This book, I'm just on the first chapter. It's called Position of the Rider, and it's teaching me how to get on the horse and how to get off the horse and why to do it that way. And that's why I'm finding this book really helpful. Also, it's spoken in normal terms. It's not all horsey language, so I understand what I'm reading, and I'm understanding why I need to do it this way, and it makes so much more sense to me. We were gonna wait until the weekend to celebrate Sam's birthday, but now we have so much extra time on our hands tonight, we decided, what the heck, let's go out and eat. Let's go celebrate Dad's birthday, right? Cool. Somebody's grouchy, I think it's because we're not at the barn. We're here at the restaurant and we got our own mirror. So Gabby's been taking this opportunity to fix her hair. Yum. This food makes me so hungry. I don't even eat green beans, but I would eat those. So we yeah. are hitting the fresh stuff. These are scallops, I think. I love scallops. Shrimp. So you know how when you buy a cake, it's got four corners and the corner pieces are totally the best pieces because it has the most icing. Well, somehow I made the mistake of teaching my kids that the corner pieces are the best. So Sophie and I are walking up to the dessert table. We're just, I'm just casually strolling and she's like a woman on a mission and her arms are flying and she gets it. We both get to the dessert table and I'm just looking at the ice cream and I look over and she's like got her arms out wide like nobody better come in my way. She grabs the tongs and she gets the very last corner piece of cake. So Gabby already got the second last corner piece of cake. She comes back to the table and she's like, I got the corner piece. So that leaves mama. She's got nothing. I just have this skinny little piece. I just get this skinny, tiny little piece. And Sophie gets all the icing. <laughs> and Gabby gets all the icing. <laughs> Read your fortune, Sophie. Sophie got this fortune, you guys. You might not know this about her, but this is Sophie exactly. You have a kind heart that always thinks other people for other people. You have a kind heart that always thinks for other people. We are so she said, we are so different. It's true. So we got all the heart and Gabby got all the brains, right? Got all the brains. It, Sophie got a brain too and Gabby got a heart too, but Sophie is all about love. That's all she's like, that's all she cares about, and she's like me like that. What does your fortune say? It says your charm is gifted to It's true, Gabby is super charming. Are you charming? Charming in a mysterious sort of way, right? Yeah, she's a mystery. All right, Sam, what's your fortune say? <laughs> Failure makes you stronger, nothing can stop you. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, you guys, let's check. See what mine is. It says, You are at the top of the world. I am at the top of the world. I am at the top of the world. I'm at the top of the world. You're charming, you're loving, and you're a failure. <laughs> That's so sad. Halloween countdown. She looks really fake. 
Wait, wait. She's cool. Sophie, I've been wanting a nice globe. It's so nice. It's kind of bad. <gasps> oh, it has a dent. But it's it's fine. cute though. We need but that. We need that so we can track you guys right where we're sitting. Yeah. That's super cool. Okay. We are at the secondhand store value village. We're looking at Halloween stuff still. A bridal. Is that really a bridal? It's what bridal. the heck? Just needs a bit and stuff. I've never seen anything like that at this store before. See the bridal? That would be fun to play with. Bridal. I could Mom, practice could bridal wrapping. Track? Yeah, I could just. It would just be good for practicing. Oh, that's a perfect little coat for Toby. I love it. All that cream. We are packed full of cream, Sophia. Mom, can I get this bridal? Yeah, I love the bridal. You do not need more cream. Even though my lesson with Ziggy got canceled today, we had an awesome time eating out and shopping with the fam. Gabby got a schleich at the secondhand store today. I don't know what it is. Tell us. What is it? What breed is this, you guys? Super cute. I love him. His name's Twitter. Magic. Comment of the day goes to Jill Gross. And she says, happy birthday, Sam. I hope you had a great day. I think everyone notices what an amazing husband and father you are. I like your sense of humor and the way you find, oops, the way you find joy and happiness in your girls and the simple things in life. I'm still praying you all get to Lee Siggy. I think he's such a good match for your family. I know soon Sam wants to add a new member to the family. It'll be exciting when you get your new puppy. I can't wait to share that journey with you. I wanted to say thank you so much for that kind Thanks, comment. I'm Thanks for the comment. Um, I think- Bye. Just like, I don't know how I got a cougar either. Somebody else said <laughs> that Sam married Cougar. Gail Crane said Sam married a Cougar because I'm older than him. I just wanted to say that was really nice of you because I think not everybody notices how amazing Sam is to us. He's kind of like our support system in this video. He does a lot of the background stuff. He does a lot of the responsibility, but we hardly ever put him in the video. He doesn't get as much acknowledgement as I think that he should, right? Because we love our dad, right? right and he is really good to us so that is it for today i'm excited to see what happens tomorrow i have some really exciting things to tell you guys in the morning um that i just don't have room for in this vlog but we'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye bye, bye. and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below